Tom Pora stood resolute, his young heart brimming with the readiness to confront the malevolent force that had shattered his world. With a deep inhalation, he clenched his fist, the air around him quivering with the gathering of his might. Exhaling, he unleashed his fury upon a nearby mountain, sending forth a cataclysmic shockwave that rent the stone asunder. Hab watched, astonishment etched upon his face. Incredible! Hab gasped, his eyes wide with wonder. He examined Tompura's fist, seeking the secret of such devastating power, but Tompura merely chuckled at his curiosity. It was easy, Tompura boasted with a grin, I just released a shockwave to destroy the mountain. Hab nodded, his expression turning solemn. I'm impressed, kid, I think you're ready, but before you leave, from the depths of his belongings, Hab produced a sword of extraordinary length and craftsmanship, its aura hinting at a divine origin. Take this, Hab intoned, offering the sword to Tompura. I received this blade when I was about 18 years old. It was a gift from the gods, and now, I pass it to you. Please promise to never lose it, and promise me to take very good care of it. Tompura accepted the sword, his eyes reflecting its splendor. Overcome with gratitude, he embraced Hab tightly. Thank you, Tompura cried, tears of joy streaming down his cheeks. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Grant. Ezra, who had been observing from a distance, approached and wrapped her arms around Tompura as well. Please take care, and return to tell us the good news, she whispered. Tompura chuckled, a lightness in his voice. I promise to be back with the good news. With heartfelt goodbyes exchanged, Tompura set off, casting a radiant smile back at the old couple, who stood hand in hand, their faces wet with tears of pride and joy. As Tompura vanished into the forest embrace, he embarked on a journey that would test the very limits of his courage. Hours turned to shadows as Tompura traversed the wilderness, his path crossing with dinosaurs, that soon became his prey. Eventually, he arrived at the place of his birth, the Grand Dimper Kingdom, only to find it besieged by demons. Their grotesque forms, with flesh like charred leather, eyes like smoldering coals, and spines bristling with spikes, struck terror into his heart. Retreating a step, Tompura caught the attention of one demon, whose unearthly scream rallied the others to its side. Frightened yet defiant, Tompura faced the onslaught. When one demon lunged at him, he struck it with such force that it crashed against a rock, only to rise again, seething with rage. I'm sorry, Tompura murmured, a gulp betraying his fear. He fled, the demon in hot pursuit, until they were alone, away from the demonic horde. Now that we're away from your friends, Tompura said with a chuckle, let's have a sparring match of our own. The demon, incensed, charged at Tompura, landing a heavy blow. Tompura staggered but retaliated with a gut-wrenching punch, forcing the demon back. They exchanged blows, their power evenly matched, their fists clashing with such force that the earth itself trembled. But as Tompura focused on his foe, more demons joined the fray, and he was quickly outnumbered. Just as the demons prepared to strike him down, a mysterious fog enveloped the scene, and an unknown figure whisked Tompura to safety. Within the mist, demons were flung aside as if by an invisible force. Confusion clouded Tompura's mind until the fog lifted, revealing a man clad in royal garb and a mask, standing victorious over the fallen demons. Tompura gazed at the stranger, curiosity burning within him, wondering who this masked savior could be. 